what is PKCA7 padding? In this video, we will try to understand that. We know that in a block cipher, we first divide the plain text into equal sized blocks and then encrypt each block at a time. But the length of the plain text is often not a multiple of the block size. In that case, we need to pad the last block of plain text. In other words, we first divide the plain text into block length sized blocks and then we pad the last block. After that, we encrypt each block of the padded plain text and get ciphertext blocks. At the time of decryption, we first decrypt each ciphertext block and get the padded plain text. After that, we remove the padding and get the actual plain text. In classical ciphers, padding also helps prevent cryptanalysts from finding out known plain text at the end of a plain text message. For example, a plain text message may often end with phrases like thanks and regards etc. We can use padding to make the cryptanalysis difficult in that case. Random length padding also helps in preventing cryptanalysts from knowing the actual length of the plain text message. We can use several padding methods for our purpose. PKCS 7 is one such padding method. In PKCA 7 padding, the block length can be anything between 1 to 255 bytes and the padding is in whole bytes. Let's say the block length is 8 bytes and 6 bytes need to be padded. In that case, we can add the byte 0x06 6 times in the last block. In other words, if n bytes need to be padded, we repeat the byte n n times to get the padded message. Please note that n can be anything between 1 byte and the block length and the maximum size of the block can be 255 bytes. I hope this helps. Interested viewers who want to know more, please visit the website of the security body or refer to the book cryptography and public key infrastructure. The security body also provides many cyber security courses. The relevant links are provided in the description. You can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos.